Let's get back into some of the leadership qualities. You need to be apt to teach. We see teachers in Scripture. We see the teachers. The Levites were teachers of God's Word. Also in 1 Timothy chapter 3, we saw, of course, earlier in the qualifications, a, a, a bishop needs to be apt to teach. But another one of the qualifications is that they're not a novice. A novice means a newbie, a, a beginner, someone who's new at doing that, you know, someone who's inexperienced. And that actually just makes common sense if you think about it. If you want to be able to teach something and instruct other people how to do something, whatever it is, anything, if you're going to be a teacher at something, you can't just be brand new to it. You have to you know, learn it and know it in order to teach it unto others. I mean, think about, you know, if you think back to maybe sometime when you're in school, you're, you're learning something new. Think about the very first day you, you, you learn something or maybe you start to understand something. There's a big difference between getting it and just finally understanding it and then being able to just explain it completely to somebody else. I mean, I remember the, with the day I got saved, it was great. I understood salvation. I understood what it took to be saved. But I wasn't very good at being able to explain that to someone else and to teach someone else how to be saved. Now, you, it's not that you can't do it, but it's a lot more difficult, right? And um, it, it takes time and practice to be able to get better and better at something, to be able to really be good at teaching something. You just learn a brand new doctrine from the Bible and you can see, yes, that's true. You go to church and wow, that's cool. I never saw that before. It's a whole nother thing to be able to go and turn around and then teach that and remember all the places and be able to, to explain why everything fits together perfectly from the Bible. That requires a lot more um, substance, a lot more knowledge. Acts chapter 4, look at verse number 1. We're going to see, and as they spake unto the people, the priests and the captain of the temple and the Sadducees came upon them being grieved that they taught the people and preached through Jesus the resurrection from the dead. Now, this is talking about the apostles, the disciples, teaching and, and getting people saved in the book, of, the book of Acts. And, of course, the Pharisees and the Sadducees, they don't like that. They don't like that they're going around and teaching the people. Now, even though the Bible says that you don't have to be a novice, one of the reasons why we're turning this passage, what I want to show you, is that the disciples and the apostles, they weren't novices. They weren't beginners at teaching God's word. But you know what? They also weren't Bible college grads. They didn't have to have some, you know, degree from some institute in order to teach other people. And this is, this is what drives me nuts. We live in a society where people, even just as secular in the, in the world, just think, well, you have to have a college degree to get a job or you, you know, you're not qualified if you don't have a college degree, as if that's just the be-all, end-all of anything, as if you can't learn something and understand something and be good at something unless you go to this school. Like, that's ridiculous. Most people, most professionals will tell you that, you know, they may say college is okay or whatever, that they may have learned some good things. But what you really learn, you learn on the job. What, what the things that really matter, that really benefit what you do and that make you better at what you do, you learn those things through working at it, through the experience. I have a computer science degree that I, that I earned at a, a four-year university. And what I learned there compared to what I've learned in my career it, it, the, the college doesn't even hold a candle to what I, I've learned through doing and working. And if I had more wisdom back then, I wouldn't have even gone and gotten the stupid degree. I could have spent the same four years just focused on and working on the, you know, doing the work that would have gotten me way farther ahead and even more valuable to companies or to anybody to do this type of business, you know, do that type of work than just coming straight out of school and having almost no type of uh, experience. And so when we say here that someone needs to be not a novice, that's not saying you have, again, it's not, it's not just putting some artificial you know, college degree on something, but it does mean you still have to know what you're doing. I mean, I'm the pastor of this church. I don't have a Bible college degree, but that doesn't make me a beginner. 
That doesn't mean I, I, I haven't already studied and learned and trained and was taught under teaching to, you know, to get to the point to where I'm at to be able to teach other people. 